Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross video on solving quadratic inequalities of the form ax squared is greater than b or ax squared is less than b. So we've got these two problems here, solve x squared is greater than 4 and solve 9k squared is less than or equal to 16. Now the approach we've adopted in previous videos is that we should always get 0 on one side. So step 1 is to get 0 on one side. Uh, it's going to be no different here. So for this first part, if we've got x squared is greater than 4, we want everything on the side where x squared is positive, which is the left, because it's 1 x squared, positive 1 x squared. So we're going to minus 4 from both sides, and we get x squared minus 4 is greater than, if we subtract 4 from this, we get that. So we've just moved the 4 to the left by just subtracting 4 from both sides of the inequality. What was step 2 we saw previously? Well, we then factorise this quadratic. Now, this is a difference of two squares, and remember how the difference of two squares works. We have two brackets, one with plus in the middle, one with minus, and then we do the square root of each of these squared things. The square root of x squared is just x, and the square root of 4 is just 2, so we make the second thing 2. So that's how we find the difference of two squares. I have a video on that if you want to watch that first, and that is greater than 0. And then step three was to sketch that quadratic. So we draw a little quick sketch and we're trying to sketch the left hand side here. So we're sketching y equals x plus 2, x minus 2. And remember the quick way to do it, I'm not going to go over it all again, but whatever these two numbers are, you just negate them. So if this is plus 2, then on the x axis, you do minus 2. And if this is minus 2, you negate it, it becomes positive 2, and on the x-axis you put positive 2. And then because it's a positive quadratic, it's going to look like a smiley face shape like that. It's a positive x-squared term, it's 1x-squared, 1 is a positive number, so it's going to be the smiley face shape. And then finally, we use the sketch to solve. So... We're saying that the y value, this here is the y value, and this is, look, the y value, all of that is the y value of our sketch. Where on this graph is the y value greater than zero? So what parts of this line is the y value greater than zero? Well, we can see the y value is greater than zero here, and the y value is greater than zero here. What can we say about this part of the line? Well, anywhere on this line, the x value is less than minus 2. The x value is less than minus 2. Or we're in this part of the tail where any part of this line, the x value, is greater than 2. So that is the final solution. So that's the answer to A. What about part B? Well, we've got 9k squared is less or equal to 16. We do exactly the same as we did before. We get 0 on one side. That's step 1. So we subtract the 16. Then step two is to factorize. So it's still the difference of two squares. One of them plus, one of them minus. What's the square root of the first thing? The square root of nine k squared. Well, the square root of nine is three. The square root of k squared is k, so it's three k, because three k multiplied by three k would give you 9k squared. And what's the square root of 16? It's 4, so that's the second thing of each bracket. So we've now got this factorised form, and again, we sketch it. But this time, because it's in terms of k rather than in terms of x, this is actually the k-axis, and this is still the y-axis. And we do as we did before. Uh, we negate that number, so that becomes minus 4, but actually we also have to divide by the number in front of the k, so it's minus 4 over 3, so minus 4 over 3. And then we do the same here. We negate that number there, so it's positive 4 over 3. So we get 4 over 3. And if that's not clear to you, then watch my videos on sketching quadratics first, please. Now, we're saying that the y value, this is the y value, is less than or equal to 0. Where's the y value less than or equal to 0? It's this bottom part of the graph. That's where the y value is less than or equal to 0. But it can be equal to 0. It can be equal to 0. So what can we say about between this point and this point. Well, we can see that the k value is between, and notice this has to be less or equal to to be consistent with that, because that's less than or equal to. It's between minus 4 over 3 and 4 over 3. This is the way we write that k, something, is between two values in this kind of form. And that is the final answer.